Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'd like to walk you through a technique that you should use uh, in your Google Webmaster Tools if you ever have an occasion to um, redo a site, uh, let's say from an HTML site into WordPress. And this is something I actually did. And I discovered that when I did that, I had all kind of problems with my, my Google ranking because I think that a lot of the old links were, uh, I was getting what they call 404 errors, which means that the links were going nowhere. And probably an easier way to, to, to describe it, let me show, the, show you what the problem was. Um, first, I want you to just see what my old site looked like. This is an old HTML site. You can see um, I just put it up in a different domain, but it's um, you know index.html. If you go to um, questions, you know it's Georgia bankruptcy law questions.html, and um, some of these things, you know, this one says newspaper, and this one says alternatives to bankruptcy. It's all HTML uh, extensions. Now, my new site, which I did in WordPress. Uh, looks like this, obviously a lot different. So if you go here and let's say we look at this section and I look at this page here, there's no HTML. So it's completely different in terms of the page names and, and it's very difficult, even though it's possible I suppose in WordPress to uh, create names that are identical to your old HTML site. Uh, as a practical matter, that's very, very difficult to do. In this case, I added a bunch of content, so it really wasn't really all that practical to do that. So what ended up happening was this site, believe it or not, as ugly as it was, um, was ranked very, very high in Google. Um, it actually did quite well for us for a number of years. Um, and when I changed it over, um, the new site dropped like a stone. It was getting terrible rankings. I, I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. This new site has a lot more content in it. It's a lot more interesting. I've got a lot of videos on it. It's much fresher looking. Um, so it really didn't make a lot of sense. So then I, it occurred to me one day, you know, maybe the issue is um, the, 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 some of the pages, the links are broken. And sure enough, that was the issue. So what I'm doing here is, if you're not familiar with this, this is called Google Webmaster Tools. And basically when you register your site for Webmaster Tools, um, you'll have a little account for that particular site. It'll show a bunch of stuff, crawl errors and search queries and site maps and all this kind of stuff. Um, that's a little bit beyond the scope of this video, but if you've not already done so, you should definitely set your sites up under Webmaster Tools. It gives you a lot of good information. So if you go to the Health tab over here, you'll see a place that says Crawl Errors. And basically, um, what we've got here are these things called 404 errors. And when you go to a 404 error, let's just pick one. Um, uh, let's just say, in, in this old site, I had a bunch of links pages which I don't do anymore, but let's just say uh, this page here, if I click on this, Atlanta Bankruptcy Attorney Reaffirm Debts in Chapter 7.html, it goes to a dead page on my new site. Um, so any links that are to that page, and so you'll see there's a bunch of uh, sites that link to that particular page, um, and so now they're all going to a dead site. Well, that's telling Google that this particular page is no good anymore. Uh, and that's a bit of a problem because, again, dead links basically tell Google that, that the site has some problems with it and it's going to cause your, your rankings to go down. So basically what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to go to our plugins page and we're going to add a plugin. And the plugin that we're using is called Simple 301 Redirects. And if you're not sure how to add a plugin, it's really pretty simple. You just go here to Add New Plugins. You type in, in this case, Simple. Uh, 301, um, that should be enough to get us there. And lo and behold, simple 301 redirects. And you can see there are a few others that do the same thing. And this has already been installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. But basically, uh, what we've got again is a page of plugins, installed plugins, and one of them is a simple 301 redirect plugin. And what our 301 redirect is, it's called a permanent redirect. What that means is it's basically telling Google that this old page name is now being permanently redirected to the new page name. And here's how it works, and this is why this is so powerful. So let me go over here, and this is under Settings, under 301 Redirects, and you see I already put a bunch of them in there. And basically what we're doing is we're saying, here's the old page number, or the old page name, and we're redirecting it over here. So again, uh, remember that when I, um, on my Webmaster Tools, when I click here, 
I get a dead page. So just remember that's what that looks like there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the new page. And so this particular one is about reaffirmed debts in Chapter 7. So if I go over here um, and I'm going to find a page that's, that's thematically uh, really talks about the same thing, um, that would be this page, Keeping Your Secured Property in Chapter 7. So what I'm going to do here is I've got this page. Uh, what is a reaffirmation agreement? Well, this is very relevant to that particular topic. So even though the link was not to this page, it's to a page with this topic. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go over here to my 301 redirect. Um, I'm going to pop this in here. So you see this is where this is going. Now we've got to fill in this over here. Um, so this is the destination where you want this, uh, this, this dead page to go. So I'm going to copy, um, copy this link location. Go back over here, put it in, and you'll notice what you have to do is you have to manually go over here and get rid of this first part of it um, because, again, this is the actual site name. So we're just going to get rid of the first all the way through .com, um, and you leave the backslash in there, and you hit Save Changes. So now when I go back to Webmaster Tools and I click this, instead of a dead page, it's going to my new page. So now um, my my crawl error is gone. I'm going to mark that as fixed. Mark it permanently as fixed and it disappears. So now I have fixed this, um, this redirect error. Um, you'll see I had a bunch of them. I had 300 of them. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of slowly going down, reducing the errors. And again, what's going to happen is that Google in its index uh, is going to have a bunch more of these errors. So even if you fix them, you want to come back and check in a few days because there may be other pages in there um, in their um, index that are going to be found as dead pages, uh, you want to get this number way down. And again, Google will tell you that it doesn't really matter if you have a few. In this case, I've got 69. I started out with 300 of them. Um, and what I've got here, some of these are pages that um, are really not going to be used for anything, per anything more. This is, I put the site together back in 2004, uh, back in the days when you had links pages. So here I had a link to a general enter entertainment thing. I think I was using some program that created all these links pages. Um, that doesn't work anymore, so there's really no reason to have links pages. I'm probably going to just, I haven't thought of, figured out what I'm going to do exactly here, but I'm probably just going to redirect all these to maybe just a, a separate page on the site. Um, so that so they get rid of all those errors, and I'm already seeing my site come back in the uh, the rankings a little bit uh, because I'm I'm reducing all these cr crawl errors. So again, what we did here was we used the uh, 301 redirect simple 301 redirect plugin to WordPress to basically tell uh, Google that these old site names, the old .html site names, are now live legitimate pages on my new WordPress site. Uh, and again, I think if you have a site uh, that you've moved over or if you've, if you've deleted some pages, um, you want to definitely check this because, again, if you have too many of these uh, dead link redirects, uh, it's going to cause your search ranking to go down. Um, I hope this has been helpful. Again, my name is Jonathan Ginsberg, uh, and uh, this is a WordPress tip uh, for situations where you move your site from an old HTML site or from one domain or from one type of file. Uh, to a WordPress file. Uh, until next time, I will talk to you soon.